What is history? Now, some will say it's his story. So where's her story? But the word history doesn't come from the words his and story. It's not even English in origin. Now, a more accurate but still not complete definition of history is it's the story of us, as History Channel used to say. But that's even not complete, as we don't know the full story of what happened to us or what happened in the past. And if it is the story of us, is the story of what you did yesterday history? Some might argue yes, some might argue no. But even though we use it that way sometimes, that does not fully describe what the study of history is. The study of history is the inquiry into the story of us, the attempt to understand what the story of us is and what it means and how that happened. And where it comes in this, we can look back at the origin of the word history, which we have to look back to some fellow you may have heard of called Herodotus, a Greek living in the 5th century BC. Now this Herodotus, he wanted to understand why the Greeks and the Persians went to war and why they were constantly in conflict and why the Greeks managed to win against the Persians even though the Persians were much larger. And so he did an inquiry into this. He observed and looked at the stories of the past trying to understand how things like that happened earlier and then inquired on how that matched those events and then looking at that to understand how those events happened. And he called that the histories, or in Greek, historia, which is plural, which means observation or learning, or learning by inquiry or inquiring. So history is inquiry. It is trying to inquire into what happened in the past and then what that means to us and what that meant to them and try to understand them and understand those events from back then. Like and subscribe.